Believe it or not, the power industry is hot. Search giant Google announced that it is going to get into the power trading game, and the Obama administration has pegged much of its domestic discussion on stimulus spending on improving the American power infrastructure. But it turns out that the frontier of power generation and distribution here in the United States is here in central Long Island. We're in Holbrook, New York. And this is where LIPA has installed a superconducting transmission test. And we're going to get a jump on the future of the power infrastructure today. Now, to understand the power grid, you have to understand the power grid. Now, the power is generated down there using oil and gas-fired plants at Shoreham and Port Jefferson. They're transmitted using these overhead lines at about 138,000 volts, and they're distributed to local power users in a series of substations that radiate out into the communities here in Long Island. Now, LIPA's experiment in superconducting power transmission starts here. The power from the grid is taken off the grid and placed down into a series of wires that can be placed into the new superconducting infrastructure there. Now, the power that comes in from the production stations is fed in through here. And then what they do to make it superconducting, super efficient, is they cool it using liquid nitrogen. Check this out. This is April. This is condensation that comes in from just a piece of the pipe that's opened up to the outside world. The liquid nitrogen comes up from the control facility here controlled through this piping. This liquid nitrogen cools the plant, follow me, and it allows the electrons to move with remarkable efficiency and no heat loss. The entire overhead power line is is boiled down into this. Simple filament of superconducting bismuth by a company called American Superconductor. It's wrapped in liquid nitrogen that keeps it super cold. What this technology addresses is the major issue of lost power in America's current grid. Between stepping up, stepping down transmission and production, over half the power in America's grid is lost. Three times the amount of power can be pushed down the single lines, and the enormous savings of space in congested areas like this is remarkable. This thing that fits in the palm of my hand, essentially, replaces that, that entire backhaul 138,000 volt transmission line. It's a remarkable piece of technology. Now, the presence of this liquid nitrogen requires that LIPA install what amounts to a giant refrigerator throughout their plant. It has to be controlled. So follow me. A company called Air Liquid makes a giant liquid nitrogen holding tank. There's control infrastructure, backup tank. You get a sense of the distribution that's involved here. There's an entire control system from AMC. You have to monitor it. This talks to a control plant in central Texas. You're talking about a major infrastructural upgrade to make these technologies work. Now you get the idea. As marvelous as this technology might be, we are talking about a major infrastructural upgrade over a grid that is tens of thousands of miles long and costs millions of dollars per mile to upgrade. As cool as Google might be and as attractive as the Obama administration's message might be about upgrading the American power plant, it is going to be decades before any significant change is made. I'm Jonathan Bloom in Holbrook, New York for CNNMoney.com.